how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to show you guys uh, about drawing faces. Now I'm not going to go in and draw faces to teach you how to draw a face. I have so many videos about that. Plus, um, I think I even, I, I've been doing them a lot more frequently because a lot of you who are new to my channel, uh, ask, you know, can you show a face? And, you know, um, a lot of people aren't very savvy on YouTube, especially when they're first starting. They don't exactly know how to go on somebody's channel and search for videos. Um, some people find me in the description, you know, not in the description, but the sidebar. I mean, all of us, you know what I mean? But today what I'm going to show you is something that you can do. Um, very simply and uh, where you can get the feel of how big things are to be, how small things are to be, that kind of thing. So I have a piece of paper here. This is my watercolor paper I've been playing on. I've done a million videos with this big ASP piece of paper because it's a big piece of paper there. All right. And then I have, this is from Americana and it's transfer paper. Um, but you can get these at the dollar store too. You just want a piece of carbon paper. If you don't have carbon paper, I'm going to show you what you can do. But uh, that's how we're going to start. And I just have a piece of, this is watercolor paper, but of course you can use notebook paper. You can use, um, let me show you, notebook paper. I have, I'm obsessed with um, little notebooks. This is a moleskin. Um, I call it moleskin. I think it's moleskine. But anyway, I write uh, stuff in here all the time and keep records. Um, and then I forget that I write it in here and can't find anything. But anyway, that's beside the point. Use a notebook that you get from the dollar store or a small notebook or take pieces of paper. I do have a video coming up of uh, how I um, have been stitching journals, but that's that's beside the point today. Okay, so here we go. So first, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to, this is obviously Gwen Stefani and this is, um, oh, I don't know her name. What's her name here? Marsha Clark. I don't care really who it is, but you see the difference in the faces. This one's very three quarter. And looking the uh, looking to the side, and this one's more a frontal, um, you know, looking face forward a little to the side because, and how you know that is because this side of her face is much wider than this side, so it's kind of turned. So first, what we're gonna do is, let me think, maybe I'll do this one since it's smaller. Yeah, all right, we'll do that next. So I'm gonna take Gwen <laughs> and I'm gonna put her on here, and in between her and my paper. I'm going to take my, and this, this is Americana. It comes in um, a big sheet, like you can't even see. It's humongous. So I'm just going to cut enough that'll go on there because, um, you know, I don't need all that. So I'm going to cut it in two different pieces. So I'm going to cut it in that piece, and that's going to be folded and be put away. Now... I know if you're working with watercolor and that kind of thing, you should have, you should probably be using a non um, waxy kind of uh, transfer paper, but I don't, uh, you know, it's, it could be expensive. It can be expensive. I have some, um, I'll have to show you, but it's from Saral, S-A-R-A-L. I use that sometimes, but on this, I'm just using regular um, paper, you know, tracing paper, because we're just going to play. All right, I know, a lot of a lot of getting together. Okay, so here we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of paper that you're gonna draw on, and it's gonna be, let me move you out just a little bit, there you go. And it's gonna be put down first. Then we're gonna put the shiny side down on our paper. And if you wanna be fancy, you know, you could tape this down. You could tape both of them down, tape the paper and that. I'm not going to do that today. And then we're gonna lay her down here. Now you can cut all this extra out and all, it doesn't really matter. Now I have, I use uh, mechanical pencils all the time. They're my favorite thing to use, but you might want to use, if you're just starting out and I'm going to use this today, it's just a regular number two pencil or whatever um, for more, you know, control and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start by, I'm just going to trace and it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, we're just we're just sitting here and we're going to, if you want to do an ear, I'm not into ears that much, drawing them. I mean, I like to have an ear because I can hear, but so I'm just going to go in and what I want to show you is here. You see, when you're doing three quarter, this cheek comes out and then goes in. So where the eye is, right here, it goes in and you can see that on here and just follow it. 
and then follow it all the way down. Perfection, not needed. You don't have to be on, on point. Okay, so now I'm going to go, I have to turn it this way because of my hands, but now I'm going to go sideways and I'm going to do her eye here. So I'm just going to go in and trace. Now you can do the eyelashes and the eyeliner if you want. So right now I'm just doing the bottom part of the eye. All right, and I made a little mistake. I went up a little bit further than maybe I wanted to, but that's okay. Then just do it underneath. It's okay. And then the eyebrows. So the eyebrows here. And then I'll do the eyebrow here. And I'm going to like trace it kind of like you're doing bubble letters. That's how I'm going to trace the eyebrow. But then I'll go in and kind of just give it a real quick run. I'm not worrying too much about, you know, anything in particular. Okay, so here's where her nose, bridge of her nose goes right here. And I'm going to take it down. And I'm giving her a boopy right there. And I'm following. And that's where that nose goes. Here is the little hole of her nose. Um, it's called something. What is it? Nostril. Uh, Kelly. And then here's her mouth. So I'm going to go in with the lips. And I'm just following what she does. Now, here's the thing. She has teeth. You don't have to necessarily put teeth in. You see this line right here that's underneath her teeth? We can bring that up a little higher. So no teeth are there and just make the lip go there. And then this lip can go above that. And we can play with that once it's on, you know, the paper. So let's look. And look, we have a face drawn. So look how cool that looks. And it was really just, you know, it took two seconds. Now you can go on there and play. So if I want to, now you can see on here, you, you can see where you you were, you're not going to be able to match it back up. So I wouldn't bother, but you get the gist of how to use that. And now you have a nice face. Now use this in your art journal. Um, you're not going to look at that and say, that's Gwen Stefani. You're just not gonna. Um, so you can sit and play and you have your three quarter face. Now what's missing on her is obviously her hair. So you can try to do her, um, draw her hair and you can even trace if you want her hair. Um, I don't, I don't want to be bothered with that right now. So I'm going to give her, let's give her a, let's let, maybe she wants to hear. So we'll put that in there and then we'll do it like this and we'll do her neck like this and then just follow it off the, t the paper. Okay. Now, yes, this is bigger than an ATC card. So obviously you will use, um, let me show you. Obviously, you could use one of these and you like I had and you can make it for your ATC card and just do the face. So think about it that way, but three quarter face very easily. And then what I would do is probably, I mean, let's just go a little crazy. And I'm just putting in some hair. Right? She got some hair. Kind of looks like, uh, what's that chick on? Uh, Oh, orange is the new black with the things. Oh, I can't crazy eight or so. I don't know what the hell her name is. Anyway, I don't watch the show. I want to start watching it, but I don't know if I'm going to. All right. And then you can, you know, play with hair down there or do whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. And now you have this. So don't throw this away because you want to keep doing this till you get the feel of it. That's fine. Now, let me show you something. Look, I went outside that eye a little bit. Well, take a little eraser and erase what you can. And you can always go in with white paint or cut her out, you know, but if you make a mistake, go with it. Don't worry about it. Paint your background over it. It's not a big deal. So now what I would do, and remember you could trace her eyelashes. You, you hear what I'm saying? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm just going to put in a little eye. Look, a little eyeball like that. Very easy. And she's kind of looking this way a little bit. So I'm not going to worry too much. We have eyes in this eye is a little bigger than that one. So I can always go in and take it a little smaller and then make this, as you see the eyelid, see that and then over here, I can do a little eyelid and color that in with my pencil or pen color, pencil, whatever you have, you can do her eyelashes. Now you can do whatever. Now you have a nose. Well, you know, it goes down here and this, you want to make it a little smaller. You can make it a little smaller, but that's a perfectly fine nose. Her mouth. Look how good her mouth looks. No big deal. You want her to have uh, like 
um, smile lines or a little, you know how we get the things in our face. You could do that. Make her a drag queen if you want. I really don't care. But you have, you get the gist of what I'm talking about. You can go to your dollar store, your art store, AC Moore, Michaels, and all that, and you can get yourself tracing paper. Um, and look, look at that, that fast. Now, if you don't have tracing paper and you're sitting here and you're watching this and you're like, oh, but I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. But I don't have the stuff to do it. So now I'm going to work on this one, which has, you know, it has some paper on it. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm only going to use the face part. Now we have here that uh, girl from um, American Horror Story. She played the that oh she played her in her uh, in the O.J. Simpson story. So I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm like okay that'll that'll fit on there for me to show you real quick. And then I'm just going to cut this pretty even. It doesn't have to be even even. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Okay, now take the back and you might want to let's cut her up. And I'll show you why in a second. Because we're only really worried about a face right now. Face and the neck, very simple to do. Um, okay. Being prepared before you start to record. Is it my gig? Sorry. Okay. So, and look, OJ Dickhead's on the back. And you can just scribble, 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 and it doesn't matter. It makes it okay. So here's her face. Sorry for the cursing. Take a number two pencil or even a thicker pencil, like a H, like a uh, B pencil. HB pencil is normal, is like your regular two. So like a thicker uh, pencil if you have it. Um, if you don't, this is what I do. I'm going in with my, this is just my regular number two pencil. And I'm, look. And if you want, you can sing. Scribble it, scribble it everywhere. Squiggle it, squiggle it, pretend that it's hair. I don't know if you want to pretend like it's hair. It's kind of gross. Just, I couldn't think of another word. Okay. All right. And you really want to get that on there thick. And you see, I just keep turning it so it gets the different textures. All right. And now I'm going to go a little sideways. All right. I think you get my drift. So you could take an extra minute. And, and do that. But here we go. Got this down. I'm going to lay her down here. Lay it down, right? Ready? Here we go. I turn it because I can't move. And now I'm going in for the eyes. You can sharpen your pencil a little bit more. I Obviously, I was scribbling it, and I probably should have sharpened it a little more. But I think you're getting my... You're getting the drift. You're picking up what I'm putting down. I know. So, you know. Okay. And now we got how little nostrils. And you want to push hard, not hard enough to go through the paper, but and we're going to do that. We're going to take that up to her eye. I'm going to give her some eyebrows. Matter of fact, I'm going a little faster than maybe you want to, but hey, you do you. I'm just trying to get done. I'm going to put both sides there just, just because you don't have to. And then her lips, she has very thin lips, but I'm just going to trace over that the best that I can, not worrying, pushing it down. I'm going to go around her face. Now I'm going to do her hair today. I didn't do it today. Oh my God, Kelly. And if your pencil is ripping the paper, see how I'm doing? I'm like, ch -ch -ch -ch, like kind of scribbling it down. Okay. And then just a little shadow here. So you can kind of see where her face is. Let's do her chin. Let's do her neck. Nothing too major. Let's do the other side of her hair. I'm not going straight, but you can definitely do your gig. You know what I'm saying? It's yours. It's yours. Do what you want. Do what you want. Okay. So now she has some like little lines there. She's a little older. And um, she has lines there. She has some uh, eyelashes. So we'll just do like wispy. And that's it. And let's pull it up. And look, didn't need no tracing carbon paper there, did ya? I know, I know. Quit clapping. I'm bowing. I'm bowing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, oh, I get a kick out of myself. I can't help it. All right. So you see, you see, we're there. So let's go and trace. All right. We know this is her. This does not have to be spot on. Think about it on your ATC cards and all. Right. Look. Okay. We have a face. Let's do our eyeballs. Now, you do want it sharp. Where is my, um, well, you want it sharp if you have a pencil sharpener, but obviously. I'm lucky I remembered a P. All right, I'm just giving it a couple 
sharpens in my, I love this Prismacolor. That, and I love this pencil sharpener that was right in front of me and I didn't grab it because, why? Because I'm me. All right, so I'm gonna go in for them little nostrils. And then you can even put, you know, you can even put a little thing there. Her nose is a little big on this, but you're just drawing. And then I'm going to do the nose right there. Now, maybe you don't want to put the nose crease in there. Don't, because you can uh, paint over this as well. Do you know what I'm saying? But I like to draw in first. You're drawing. Draw and make and get used to it, right? And then you can do her lips. She has, like, very small, sharper lips. And some eyebrows. Let's give her some eyeballs, just circle like that. Nothing major, you can put a dot in the middle for her pupils for now, cause that's just how we're rolling. This is her hair on the outside. You can trace in markers if you want and uh, you know, whatever you want, crayons, it doesn't matter. And then we'll give her her neck and look, you have another one. Is she perfect? No, but you did it and look, Look at that. We got a three quarter of a way face and we got this and that's what we got done today. And that is fantastic. And all we had to do was scribble. So let me show you this. This is a uh, Americana accessory transfer paper. You get one sheet and you saw the sheet. It's wicked big. This is probably a couple bucks. Uh, oh God, excuse me. Where the heck did that yawn start to come from? And then it went away. What the heck? Um, but you see what I'm saying? Now you can go ahead and paint. Um, can you paint before you trace everything? Of course. Let me show you. Let me show you over here. What I do with my tracing paint. I am such a hot mess. Such a hot mess. Such a hot mess. Right. If I remembered half the stuff that I should, um, we'd really be in business, wouldn't we? I don't know where the heck it, Oh, because I scribbled on it, Cal. All right. Don't ask. Don't ask. But I'm going to put her little face here for a second and show you. I'm tracing it again. Just very simple. Very loose. Because I'm a loosey-goosey. Her little creases and her things. There we go. You can color in the eyes if you want. Let's just do the outline of her face. All right. Okay, so you see how we have this like weird looking face right here, okay? That's called quick and easy. Cheap and easy and quick and easy. Okay, anyway, so here we go, we have that. So let's take some, I'm just gonna use my regular portrait light from Folk Art and I'm gonna tank my paintbrush and I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna dip it, dip it in. And then I'm gonna go in and paint over, no, I should have probably shook that cow, but I'm gonna paint over, you see what I'm doing? All right, I painted over it. I can still see, I can still see the face, right? Even over here, let's rock on this one. Let's do her face. And that's pencil I used there, right? You don't want to go over 20 times because then it will, I mean, anything would smear. But look at this. So you have a base of her face on as if you drew it, right? Let that bad boy dry and then go on and paint. Use a small paintbrush. Use one of your markers. Use a Sharpie. Use a, a, so many pens that I love. Uh, that are not uh, affected by water. You know what I mean? Um, I'll have to do a small video of them. But like, this is the Energel liquid gel ink. Uh, oh, so many, I, I just don't have them anymore. Or you could use the fine point of a uh, permanent marker, whatever. And once this is dry, just go over and trace them. Or you can go ahead and color in the, you know, the eyeballs and all that once your acrylic's dry. I mean, you can really... You can just go to town. Go to town. So I think for me, I'm going to use her on a canvas because why not? Okay. And uh, and just play. So I hope that this helped you guys because you guys have been so delicious with all you writing me uh, emails and all the comments and everything. And I've not got through all the comments, but 
You guys have been so wonderful with all the magazine stuff that I've been doing uh, to show you guys how to do it, uh, you know, to be able to put faces and paint over them and all. Now this is something new for you to do. And you have two ways. You can use your transfer paper. Um, I know there's another name for it. What? A, uh, I don't know. Tracing paper. And then um, and you can just use pencil on the background and get. Do you see what I'm saying? This is so much fun. So don't be afraid to add faces to your art journal and to your paintings and to anything that you do, ATC cards, whatever. You could see you could do different sizes. You can have a blast. And it doesn't look like, this doesn't look like uh, Gwen Stefani. You know what I mean? And this doesn't look like whatever her name is. And you can do your own hair and you can have fun. So I'm going to do her on a canvas. But um, let me know down below what you guys think of this. And let me know down below if you try this or let me know on Facebook. Tag me. You can tag me on Google. You can send it to me in my email, um, which is down below. Um, knitting and things at netzero.com. You can send it to me on, uh, you know, Google, Facebook, Twitter. I'm on Pinterest. I am everywhere. And I want you to come find me everywhere because I love it. And I love you guys. So again, my pleasure to do this kind of stuff. I love it. It makes me so happy when you all get it. And when you all do this stuff and you're like, yeah, Kel, you're not crazy. This is great. It helped me. Um, because normally I think I'm just insane and crazy. Hey, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock. I love you guys. You guys make my heart smile every freaking time you guys leave me a comment or email and I really have to be more vigilant to answer them all. Um, but I just love you guys. So I hope y'all are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey, and don't forget to share me like your loose friend. Share me everywhere. I love it. I even shaved. Goodbye.